Hello and welcome another Tools of the Trade. Today we're looking at a freeware slash payware plugin, Sam, Senior Animation Manager. It's a plugin that has been out now for, I guess, at least a year or two years. I don't, I'm not sure actually. Uh, it came up as an alternative to AutoGate. AutoGate is a really old plugin. Uh, it's a freeware plugin that uh, allowed you to have positions with marshallers and uh, jetways. But uh, your scenery needed to be changed or needed to be made uh, ready for it. So that AutoGate could actually animate your jetways or show you the marshaller. Now AutoGate had been in use for a really long time and it, it was one of my standard plugins that I had in X-Plane. Then came along uh, Sam, Scenery Animation Manager, and it basically did a similar thing, just that uh, it, again, your airports had to be made workable with Sam. And uh, there are almost no freeware, well, there are, but, but very little freeware airports that actually use Sam gates and Marshall objects. Um, and it also meant that now I had to have two plugins, AutoGate and Sam, in order to get uh, gates moving and that didn't work in, at all airports because all the standard airports weren't animated. Yeah, so any of the default X-Plane 11 um, gateway scenery airports uh, would not move. So that is the situation until I just recently decided to purchase the paver option, an additional option for SAM so you still download SAM for free, so that hasn't changed, but um, it now um, has added a payware add-on which is called Worldwide Jetways and that actually makes jetways move anywhere in the world. At least that's what they claim with any scenery. Provided it is, uh, let's see, um, I, don't know, I haven't described that here. So, um, provided uh, I think they're standard objects from X Plane or uh, Mr. X, or obviously if, if your scenery is SAM uh, enabled, and I think also the order gate, um, I guess also the order gate gates, but I'm not sure about that actually. Um, so as long as these are default objects and not self-made, um, uh, self-constructed uh, uh, jetways or things like that, it, it probably it couldn't couldn't recognize it. But if it's coming from this from these sources, and I think 99% probably come from these sources, then this new worldwide jetways option of Sam, which is built into the freeware plugin, will actually be able to move it. That's the claim. We're going to try it out. So, let's see here. <laughs> I'm in the simulator. We are actually in Tunisia, Carthage. Um, this is a freeware airport. I downloaded a nice one um, for, uh, for Tunis, uh, Carthage. Uh, and I thought we're not going to start with anything default. We're not going to start with anything where I know that some is built in because... Um, Obviously, I expect that to work anyway, which we're going to try. Um, let's start somewhere which is completely not standard <laughs> and see if it can do it. So, this is, this is a freeware airport here for Carthage um, Delta Tango Tango Alpha in Tunisia. I took an MD-11. This is a freeware model. Okay, don't expect too much. Okay, this is what it looks inside. It's... Uh, it's nice to have something like that, but uh, yeah, it's not the greatest. Um, and I thought, well, let's use this and see if Sam, first of all, can deal with that aircraft, which is also not standard. Um, and can it actually place the, the jetways where they belong to? And what would that look like in an airport that is non-standard freeware from some designer who definitely didn't have Sam in mind when they created this here? And here we go. Now, Sam is a plugin. You can go here, you can go on the menu. If you call up the airport operation system, 
you do actually get this window here, right? In here, um, you can actually provide uh, flight details. I could now um, pull some some flight plan from sources like this here. Very interesting. Um, I'm not sure what it does with it, so you could also uh, call up the meta uh, from some weather source, for example, Active Sky. If Active Sky would be would be running, it's not running at the moment. Um, I haven't actually used this so far, uh, but for me, more interesting is the parking control, um, and here's the settings. Now, automatically by Sam, the door animation. We shall see if the door opens. It. I don't think it works. Everywhere I uh, more often than not my doors didn't open automatically although I have it here Jetway status show on screen uh, Again, I'm not sure where that is going to show on the screen because so far I haven't seen anything showing eh. And then libraries automatically added by Sam uh, These are the special Sam libraries which are then replacing and we can see this very nicely here This year looked not as crisp <laughs> As this year, there were some uh, default uh, jetways, and they they kind of went along the general design. But Sam has actually detected them as jetways, as replaceable jetways, and has replaced them. So here they are, and they are actually moving. All right. In order to get this option running, you need to go to your Sam menu, and you need to go to version and license. I will not open this up now because I don't want you to see my license information, but when you order this from the store, for example, or from Aerosoft, um, you, they, someone will send you the uh, license key by email. This doesn't show up in your normal download, at least it didn't for me. Um, I had to wait a couple of minutes for the email to come, so better not uh, throw away that email <laughs> for later activations. And uh, yeah, and then you need to restart your simulator. Don't even try to run it uh, without having stopped explain and start it again. And once you've done that, you see what I see now, which is actually not much different from the usual uh, SAM, but it now suddenly replaces gates with its own objects automatically. So you start up explain, you place yourself in a scenery, and it detects, if it can, it detects the jetways and it will replace them. And I even guess uh, they might actually even replace the marshallers because I've, I have I see a marshaller here which is animated. Well, we, we don't see it here at the moment. But um, you would see when the engines are running, I think the marshaller shows up. So let's unpause the simulator for the moment. There was actually a marshaller when I... Uh, position myself here okay and that marshaller also comes from Sam now there are two modes there's manual mode if you do manual mode you can click here and then look at that if there is a choice it will show you both and it will even indicate which is which because that's not always obvious yeah uh, because it's actually reversed uh, so the one that looks like it would be the first one is actually the second one <laughs> so I could now click here and it would move the jetway or you go into automatic mode I do this and then as soon as you place yourself here um, it will automatically position the jetway the door doesn't open so more often than not the doors do not open for me I'm not sure how that function is supposed to work it usually doesn't work for me or uh, I'm not sure what it has opened there. It this looks like a hole. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Maybe it has opened the wrong door. So this could be related to the aircraft because that looks a bit strange here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Okay, so that worked very nicely. Um, now I could uh, switch back to manual mode. And then we look at this uh, a bit more realistic because it's actually moving nicely. If you're in automatic mode, I think it's coupled with um, 
Is it the parking brake and uh, no, I think it's the beacon, I think. If you turn on the beacon, it will move back. And if the engines are running, it will also not um, connect. So here again, now in the in the manual mode, I could pick this. I could also pick the second one, but that looks really strange because it will then go through the first one. So, yeah. If that model, the MD-11 model, would have two doors, um, not only drawn, but actual door, uh, and it could detect it, then uh, there would be a second, a second uh, option here. So that's what it looks in Carthage. Um, now I'm going to go to Germany and we're going to look at some samples of airports and see how that works. So, and by magic of cut and uh, simulator, we are now in Munich. It's the short final design Munich. <coughs> and what you can see here is uh, Munich has special jetways, the Munich style, um, that are already SAM compatible so they had been before um, and obviously with some worldwide you can still use them and you can see how it picks the right one and places it uh, uh, where it should be so that worked nice now let's go to um, Frankfurt for example where I think Sam wasn't included if I remember correctly and we're going to go through some of the German airports. Some of them are freeware. I'm, uh, I'm also trying to find one where I do not have a scenery. And uh, we will check it out at each of them and see what happens. And magic again. We are in, well, Kastrup. <laughs> um, I couldn't find <laughs> an airport I haven't messed with in Germany. So I decided we go to Denmark, uh, which is <laughs> closest kind of and we're in Kastrup here in Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel and these are just gateway this is uh, this is a gateway airport actually in explain the airports have become really really nice so this is standard stuff okay this is not uh, something uh, from from the freeware from the org but that's the reason why I did this and uh, it looks a little bit odd here but I see what happens when I I use the auto mode and to be honest I have a feeling that in real world this wouldn't probably quite look like that um, but anyway it did work as you can see yeah the the standard gateway jetway has been replaced by something that looks very similar although I have a feeling that uh, their objects are a bit more a bit more high definition and uh, yeah that's that's really nice so let's see what they look in the dark I'm going to oh god we have northern lights forgot about that okay so that's what this stuff looks like in the dark also not bad so that was uh, a gateway standard airport from explain nothing uh, changed here. So we are now in Hanover and I'm really wondering now if that works because these are auto gate gates and uh, you can immediately detect them because they have this distinct look a uh, kind of oldish look um, and uh, well let's see if that works. No. I had an idea let's go back to manual mode you see now I had an idea um, that it might not work because they have not mentioned auto gate anywhere so that means do not turn off your auto gate plugin I did this now for testing purposes but uh, apparently well we are a little bit beside uh, the lines so uh, I use my little magic tool FS flight control and I just move over there and then maybe a little bit forward although that truck is really in the way here okay let's try that again no so 
I had an idea because it hasn't replaced it with something else. These are distinct looking autogate uh, jetways and no. So if you have an airport like this, which is an older one, it's a freeware uh, from Hanover, Echo Delta Lima Victor, um, you need to still have your autogate plugin activated. So don't turn it off like I did for testing purposes. Now I know um, and it will remain as one as part of my normal setup. Okay, now let's uh, go to well, what what other options do we have? Um, yeah, let's go to Frankfurt for our last test. Frankfurt is also payware from Aerosoft. Uh, let's see how that how that pans out. So another cut, and uh, by the way, cut means. I'm not someone who m does a p meticulous planning of the video and sits down and I know that some people actually expect that from me. Sorry, <laughs> not going to happen. Um, I usually sit down and for example with Sam here this is just it's like an unpacking video. I have it installed, I haven't had really much done with it and then I decided so I'm going to test it and instead of doing it on my own and then um, repeating everything I don't have that much time I say well I, I'm recording this and I will cut out the sort of um, boring bits like waiting for the simulator to load the scenery which can take minutes depending on where, you, where we are um, but the rest is just me so mistakes happen like in my last video my last tools of the trade uh, with the active sky and the sim brief I actually overlooked that I had the wrong date in, in Simbrief. That's just the way things happen and you know this is what will, is going to happen to you as well possibly and then you have seen me making that mistake and learn from it so that's the way I see it. Anyway we are in Frankfurt this is the Aerosoft Frankfurt scenery and unfortunately the gates don't move. Now there are two possible reasons. Reason number one they're autogate could be because I have disabled autogate for this test. I wanted to see which actually move due to Sam and, and which do not move. So possibly they're autogate because I kind of faintly remember that in Frankfurt you do have moving gates. So probably if I activate autogate again next time they should move most likely. Um, or they are static self-built um, objects that are not detectable as jetways. In that case, Sam has no chance. But I would say, if you get your Autogate plugin and Sam and this Worldwide Jetways option, which unfortunately costs money, it is a payware, but I think it now allows me to have moving jetways uh, and probably also the marshallers on 95, 98% of all the airports in, in X-Plane. I guess that is a pretty good deal and therefore I'm actually quite happy that I have it now. As usual I'm not associated with companies and so on. This is my personal opinion, that's the way I see it. Um, and Sam I think is an ingenious little plugin. No, it's not that little actually. Um, and it offers not only this now, it also offers the season mode which I'm going to show you in another video where we can switch to winter in no time. Absolutely perfect. Um, or to autumn or to spring or to summer. It's based on, on the standard textures though you can't do it with auto scenery but I think it's a pretty good option and it comes for free you just need to download a big package with all the, all the seasonal textures. But I'm going to show you this in another video let's not uh, draw this out too long. I hope that was helpful uh, I like Sam's new Worldwide Jetways. Until next time.